Hi, and welcome to another episode of Emerald Isle Vacation Home Specialist. I am your host, Dennis Richkovsky. Some of you will recognize me as the co-owner of Flip Flops Donuts, and some of you will know me as your broker of real estate who specializes in waterfront and waterview properties along the Crystal Coast, especially on Bogue Banks and in my town of Emerald Isle, North Carolina. On this channel, you will find essential information from the inside scoops on buying and selling houses to how to live with the ocean rivers and sounds that define the Crystal Coast. Today's episode examines Shackleford Banks, the most accessible of the three islands that comprise the Cape Lookout National Seashore. Whether you visit here occasionally or live here full time, getting to know about this amazing island, how to get there and what to do when you get there is a story worth telling. Before I begin, please subscribe to my video channel now or at the end of this episode. The United States has 10 protected areas known as national seashores. And one of these protected seashores is located right here in Carteret County. Cape Lookout National Seashore consists of three barrier islands, or banks as they are called, North Core Banks, South Core Banks, and Shackleford Banks. All three are basically giant shifting sandbars that can change drastically with any given storm. Indeed, Cape Lookout National Seashore is an ever-changing world and one of the more unstable geographical features in the world, more so, some may say, than even an active volcanic area. For example, 100 years ago, Shackleford Banks was connected to South Core Banks and the Cape Lookout Light. Then, as a result of the 1933 Outer Banks hurricane, an inlet formed on the eastern edge of Shackleford Banks. This inlet, now called Barden Inlet, separates Shackleford Banks from the rest of Cape Lookout National Seashore. This skinny island is approximately eight and a half miles long and roughly a mile wide at its widest point, depending on the tides. The Shackleford Banks is bordered to the north by the back sound and to the south by the Atlantic Ocean. Its western edge is bordered by Beaufort Inlet, while its eastern edge is bordered by the much narrower Barden Inlet. Visitors who want to explore the Cape Lookout National Seashore with little effort, who want to relax, take in the salt air, and enjoy the beach scene, will definitely want to check out the Shackleford Banks. Located just a few miles away, at most from both Harkers Island and Beaufort with a number of ferry services that depart from the heart of downtown Beaufort, Shackleford Banks is arguably the easiest barrier island to reach out of the three islands that comprise the Cape Lookout National Seashore. John Shackleford acquired the island that would eventually bear his name along with other large tracts of coastal North Carolina in 1713. Initially, however, the island became known as Cart Island, which was probably a nod to Carteret County where the, island, where the land resides. And the area remained in the Shackleford family until it was sold in 1805. By the late 1800s, the island was home to a small community of permanent residents, a settlement known as Diamond City, which at its peak had roughly 500 full-time residents. This island town, however, would not last for long as an 1899 hurricane persuaded virtually all of the residents to abandon the town, with the last island dwellers leaving by 1902. The island was eventually acquired by the National Park Service in the 1960s as part of the newly formed Cape Lookout National Seashore and has been a popular vacation destination, albeit an isolated one, ever since. Although the Shackleford Banks is only accessible by boat, reaching the Shackleford Banks is a fairly easy venture thanks to Island Express Ferry Service. Island Express Ferry Service has two locations. The first location is on Front Street in downtown Beaufort. The second location is at the Harkers Island Visitor Center on Harkers Island. 
Island Express Ferry Service provides trips to and from the Shackleford Banks in 15 to 30 minute intervals, making it easy to catch a ride to the beach and back. The trip takes about 20 minutes at the very most and is a very scenic ride along the back sound to reach your destination. Rates vary, but are generally in the $15 per person range with reduced rates for kids for round trip transportation. In the summertime, the waters that border the Shackleford Banks are teeming with privately owned skiffs and small vessels that anchor just offshore and mariners can easily hop off the boat to enjoy a day of sunning on the sand. The back sound waters are fairly shallow and calm and are ideal for anchoring for an afternoon. Several boat launches are available throughout the Crystal Coast, including a convenient one located in the heart of Beaufort along Lennoxville Road, which has 31 parking spaces. And reaching the island from the center of Beaufort is a 20 minute cruise at the very most. While it is a bit of a trek to reach the Shackleford Banks, expect a two mile paddle or a little less Experienced paddlers can make the journey from the heart of Beaufort to the outlying barrier island too. Steer clear of the inlets whenever possible on a kayak to avoid big tidal currents and watch for maritime traffic of all sizes that can be found within Bank, Bank, Back Sound, which is after all part of the intracoastal waterway. Once you arrived on the Shackleford Banks, there is a wealth of sunny beach activities in store. There is shelling. Shackleford Banks are perhaps best known as an exceptional shelling destination as the undeveloped and pristine beaches are completely uninhabited with lots of shoreline to go around for everyone. A wide variety of seashells can be found on the beaches, including whelks, scotch bonnets, olive shells, augers, sand dollars, colorful scallops, and moon snails. Beachcombers will have the best luck close to the inlets after a high or low tide. Then there is fishing. Like shelling, fishing is a very popular pastime on the Shackleford Banks due to the island's isolation as well as its sound and ocean bordering beaches. Depending on the specific time of the year, Surf casters can expect to target Spanish and king mackerels, croaker, copia, pompano, spout, trout, sea mullet, and even the occasional shark. Red drum and puppy drum are, make also their seasonal appearances, especially in the spring and fall months when they are making their migratory treks along the shoreline. Then there is surfing, kayaking, and other water sports. Because the Shackleford Banks border both the Atlantic and the Back Sound, visitors can enjoy a wealth of water sports. The oceanside waves are generally gentle enough for beginning surfers and are enticing throughout the summer months for swimmers, body borders, and even skin borders. Meanwhile, the sound waters are perfect for kayaking, stand-up paddle boarding, and windsurfing. Regardless of what sport you want to try, the sheer Miles of salt water will provide a perfect background for discovering something new. Just use caution. There are no lifeguards on the isolated Shackleford Banks. Then there is bird watching. The Shackleford Banks is the perfect destination to catch a variety of shorebirds, water birds, and even migratory birds in the spring and fall months, thanks to a collection of different habitats and a completely undeveloped landscape. Look for pelicans, plovers, skimmers, terns, and sandpipers close to the ocean, as well as egrets, ibises, and other wading birds in the salty marsh areas found closer to the sound side. And then of course, there are the banker ponies. The Shackleford Banks are famed as an island home to the Cape Lookout National Seashore banker ponies. Feral horses whose ancestors are believed to be shipwrecked Spanish Mustangs from the late 1500s. In addition to the feral horses which freely roam the beaches, shrub thickets, and maritime forests, the Shackleford Banks is also home to an assortment of fascinating critters including ghost crabs, gray foxes, otters, blue crabs, and more. 
that will allure wildlife lovers of all ages. The Shackleford Banks are a must-see destination for any visitor who wants an introspective look at a deserted barrier island landscape. Teeming with exceptional shelling, fishing, and an abundance of wildlife, a Shackleford Banks exploration is easily within the reach for family vacationers visiting the Crystal Coast. To learn more about easy day trips from your vacation stay in Emerald Isle or elsewhere along the Crystal Coast, subscribe to my newsletter by texting your email address to 919-308-2292 or sign up for my blog on my website, www.eihomesforsale.com and subscribe to Emerald Isle Vacation Home Specialist on YouTube at the end of this video. Stay well and stay safe, so come on down. Please subscribe to my channel below and definitely return next week to the same bad channel at the same bad time of 9 a.m. on Thursday for another episode of Emerald Isle Vacation Home Specialist.